Hi, this is Rochelle with Craftastic, and I'm going to be working in my Dollar Tree planner and I use it for social media. Here is the washi tape that I'll be using or pulling from. And I'm doing something a little different. I'm working with two kits and a bonus sheet that are available in the shop on my website at scrapcraftastic.com. So I kind of just made a combination of those. I'm using the free date covers. And I'm also using a digital download from JD and Brooklyn. So to get started, this kit actually is a monthly kit for the classic happy planner. So here I'm trimming off the days of the week because I only want the decorative part of that header. And I'm going to use that as the header on my Dollar Tree planner. So this is covering up the dates and adding some festive decoration to this planner. So I'm going to trim the excess off. It's a little too long. I'm just going to trim that up. And then I'm going to use the other half, trim off the days of the week, and use this on the other side for my header. So this is a great way of how you can repurpose kits that you may already have in your stash. Just to make them work for whatever planner you're using them, using them in. And that happened to fit almost perfectly. So now we have our festive 4th of July header. I'm going in using the blue day covers. So I'm covering the date and the day of the week. So I'm using this planner more as like a daily goal type of thing, like the main thing that I want to do each day, focus on each day. So there's, I won't be going into a lot of detail as far as what I'm doing for social media, but I do, I like to have it as basically a daily goal guide. So here I'm going in, putting in the date dots, dating the planner. The first is on Monday, that worked out great. So we go straight from one through seven. And I'm actually going to be using these kits on at least three of my planner spreads this week. And I will try to record and show all three just so you can see how you can use a kit no matter what that kit was designed for. Here I'm pulling up the JDM Brooklyn selfie doll. Thought she was fitting for this week. She's dressed in blue. Plus this is a social media planner and she's taking a selfie. This is 4th of July de decorative box. Here I have a three checklist flag and I'm just looking for other items to add to each day. So I put down the half box so that I can note the goal for that day and I did my regular checklist for Monday. And I'm also doing a next week list so that I can go ahead and start planning some of the things and goals that I have for the following week. And I'm gonna put down my little planner, but I decided that I wanted to layer. I'm really getting into layering. So I'm gonna layer that on this scalloped quarter box. 
And in these spreads, I'm focusing on using mostly printables, um, budget-friendly options for planner stickers, but I will be using a few of my Happy Planner stickers along the way. I added a little bow to the 4th of July box just to spruce it up a little bit. And here I'm adding another box for a goal. So I really want those to stand out. So I'm adding boxes for those. I'm going to do my best not to do too much work on 4th of July and actually take that day off so I didn't put a box there. I thought the spread was a little dull. I don't know what it is. I think I just need to have some type of foil to just bring things to life. So I'm adding this zigzag gold foil washi tape and it kind of mimics stripes for the stars and stripes. So I'm gonna alternate that on each day in the gray area. And I think just hiding that gray really does brighten up these spreads in, this, in the Dollar Tree Planner. Then I'm gonna go back in with the gold stars. For some reason, I'm so fond of stars lately. I don't know what that's about, but I really love this star washi tape. I'm trying not to overdo it with the gold foil, but hey, it is a holiday week, so. And I don't really decorate my home or anything like that, so. It's fun for me to decorate for the holidays in my planners. And that's probably why I go all out because that's the only place that gets the decorations. So I'm just clipping these pages together because I have the fan on, it's very hot here and the pages were blowing all over the place. So I'm putting down what I wanna do in the upcoming week. I wanna work on my editorial calendar for sure. I need to get all of that mapped out. And I also noted the Plan With Me marathon that I'm working on. Uh, I wanna work on Cricut and Cameo videos on Tuesday. Batch photos and posts on Wednesday. And then cross promote videos on Friday. Again, taking off on Thursday, the holiday. Now I'm just going in and putting in my PR post stickers. And I'm not gonna do new release sticker this week. I haven't been doing them on Friday. I tend to just do them whenever they come out. So I decided not to do that. And then I'm gonna do my buffer stickers. Again, this has really been keeping me on track with keeping my social media posts on time. And here I'm just putting a YouTube sticker because I know next week I really wanna focus on YouTube. To do this week, just using some of my word stickers. I've got them, I've print and cut them, I need to use them. Using a day off sticker. And a priority sticker for next week. So here I'm just doing a little hand lettering in the scallop box, noting that I need to plan. And I'm gonna come back and take some of these stars and use them for a decoration. Again, something about stars lately, I'm just into them. And here I'm just going to take one of these payday flags and add it to Wednesday.
And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this week's plan with me. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.